Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, bringing you some One FC action with the Malaysian winner of King Hey, very good, thank you. How Congratulations, are you? you are now nine and two. It's a professional. Indeed. Indeed. Three and zero in One FC. Three and zero in One FC is pretty darn good. Yeah, it's not finishes bad. Finishes two, right? Three finishes. Three finishes. That's what people want to see. They don't want to see point players. They want to see finishes. Yeah, that's a great thing about One FC. The judging criteria is all about finishing. It's not about winning the round. So. Um, uh, it's definitely like me as a fighter. I also like total fight scoring, old pride style. I'm a fan of that. Damage first. Not lay and pray. The dominant position helps. So let's talk about the fight uh, specifically. Like the first round, a lot of striking was going on. Um, he was a bit of an awkward opponent. He was kind of loose and kind of playing around like a little bit. Did you feel that in there? Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of people say he's got a similar style to myself. Um, he's definitely a tough opponent. He's finished all his opponents back in the Philippines. Um, I did not take him lightly at all, but um, it made me realize that um, when he hit me a few times, it made me realize that's what I actually love. I love, I love banging. I love getting hit and it was one of the more technical stand-up battles that I've seen, except that he was keeping his foot as a southpaw on the inside gate of your left foot, right? I thought he was going to draw you to the left cross, but he never did, so even if he did quirk you a couple times with the, the right hook, like, you had the better angle. Were you aware of that when you were fighting, yeah, that you were sure. definitely getting it's the... Obviously, yeah, when you're fighting southpaw, you always want to circle to the left. Um, both of us have the left and the right hand to line up. Um, but yeah, he was obviously going to get a power shot, so I was able to um, pick up his time. Really what were some of the best strikes you think you had? Uh, so Anything you felt that really connected to? Unfortunately, nothing was pretty okay. Unfortunately. Let's talk about the second round and the finish. I think it was pretty uh, pretty far in there. You got some kind of big takedown. You slammed him on his head. Like You really rotated him hard. I, I don't know what the takedown was. I kind of missed it. Um, I don't know if you recall how you picked him. I don't know if it was a single leg or a or, 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 or. Uh, So pretty sick it was a body lock. On one side I felt the tension, I was just sweeping his legs. Um, but yeah, I was lucky the cage was in the way, so that's what helped me get the finish. Okay, and then he came up on the, the single leg on your leg this style, and you just threw in, I think, uh, you threw in the right arm. Oh, deep, yeah. Right? For sure. High elbow. Uh, yeah. And I think you, with this style, where was your left hand? Did you grab this way or did you grab this way? Uh, I think it was like this. I think it was like that. That's only the second time I've really kind of seen the inverted grip. Uh, one UFC prelim was ended that way, so this is only the second time in MMA I've Mas seen the inverted. Marcelo Garcia. Marcelo Garcia, high yeah. elbow guillotine, some high level stuff. Oh, he, he chokes out anyone with that. Ben, he chokes out Ben Askren with that. What do you got to say to your uh, <laughs> Malaysian fans? Yeah, no offense to Ben Askren, the one FC <laughs> champion. You're going to have to roll with this guy next. He's going he's, he's to come in from Singapore, man. Um, um, Malaysia Bole, I love Malaysia. Man, they, they are so full of energy. They, oh, every time I come here, I feel loved and I feel spoiled, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I, was, I was in Malaysia for less than six hours and I had a whole box of goodies. So that's how much, how much I love Malaysia. And where are your main, te main team or sponsors before we go? Uh, team responses? Yeah, yeah, your main team. Oh, you train yes. with their sponsors. Uh, so my last camp I spent in Saigon Sports Club in Vietnam, so I'm very grateful for all the work there. And obviously all my sponsors, especially Tune Talk, Red Rat, uh, Kelly's, and everyone that supported my journey. Thank you guys. I love you. Thanks guys. Support finishers.